Can a profane political sign be protected by the First Amendment? Neighbors in one McCain Township area concerned over obscene language in a sign about President Joe Biden. Jocelyn Person had the chance to go to that neighborhood to hear the concerns. She joins us now in the control room. Jocelyn. Hey, Sean. Well, some neighbors are saying that this sign needs to be taken down because there are children who are seeing this. A scene of a school bus dropping or picking kids up from this quiet McCain Township neighborhood. It looks completely normal. Neighbors say, look again. Everybody has their own opinion, but you don't need to voice it like that when you know there's children coming by. This concerned neighbor who doesn't want to be seen says there are children passing by while noticing this sign that has a middle finger along with an obscenity. We knocked on the owner's door to see if he was willing to speak to us. He told Jet24 Action News the sign about Biden is meant as a joke. He takes it down for when his grandchildren come over, so obviously he doesn't want them to see it, but it's okay for everyone else's children to see it. So in this particular situation, is it a freedom of speech or not? And here it seems as though he's appealing to his political viewpoints. So the question as to whether or not it's obscene seems to uh, fall in favor of the property owner. This McCain Township area has almost 75 kids. Three school buses with students from elementary school and middle school can visibly see the sign. That prompts another question. Is the sign obscene? In this particular case, I think the strongest argument that the township may have against it is to say that it distracts drivers during the day. That would mean residents in this neighborhood who want to protect their children from seeing the sign have to avoid it if that's possible. I think it should be taken more serious, especially with he knows how many children are in this area. Now, we spoke with um, Ron Bull, who is a supervisor at McCain Township, and he told us that he reached out to a neighbor with the sign, and that neighbor is going to take the sign down. Sean. All right, Jocelyn Person in the control room tonight. Thank you, Jocelyn.